Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Irvin, also known as Kubu Man. Welcome back to Help Desk. We're going to work Help Desk tickets today. This is a bonus video. Actually, yesterday I released a video on A plus certification. So if you want to check out to see or to get an idea on how that goes when it comes to CompTIA A plus certifications, check that out. So it's a video from yesterday. It's a really good one. All right. So we're going to do tickets today, but we're going to do them really quickly. I'm just going to give a quick solution. We're going to keep moving because we have 76 tickets in the ticketing system. All right. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to read this one real quick. Titled Lexicon. The problem using Outlook login screen randomly pops up. Uh, although I've already input my login credentials. Also an alert message during email search yesterday and today says there is a problem fetching results from the server. So I'm going to reply. I'm going to say the first thing that comes to my mind. And that is I think this issue is most likely related to credentials maybe password expired and needs to be updated if that is done already reboot the computer and possibly rebuild the outlook email profile all right like I said, these are going to be quick solutions and suggestions when it comes to this. Obviously, you want to update your password. If your password has expired and you've changed it through an SSO website, make sure it's updated on your computer. You can do that by logging off and logging back on with a new password. So if it's an SSO type of password where you've changed your password on like a website that said your password has expired, that is part of your computer or computer domain for your job, then make sure that you log off your computer, log back on with the current password. Of course, you can re rebuild the Outlook email profile from the control panel. Again, I'm going to go through these real quick, so sorry for not showing you the details. All right. Sent email shared account. Hello, the sent e the sent uh, mail for the email is being filled to sent folder for the primary. Could you please see if this can be fixed? The shared box. So it's important the user be able to see what's been sent. I don't know, but this looks like a shared mailbox. So we just need to check access on this. I don't understand exactly. Sent mail shared folder account. The sent mail for the address, blah, 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 is being filled in the sent folder for the primary account. Oh, could you please see if this can be fixed? If this is a shared box, it's important that the other user is able to see what's been sent so this is an issue most likely this issue is most likely related to sending email on or i should say on okay i'm going to say it on behalf of the shared mailbox so what needs to be done is that whenever you send an email you have to make sure that you change it sent from that's what it is change send from to the shared mailbox in this case change to so this is the name of the shared mailbox come on all right Where's my reply? There it is. Two. So that it shows up as such. And then others who have access and use this shared mailbox will see sent emails. And by that, I mean they will see sent emails in the sent emails folder. All right. That's what I think that is. If you think there's something else, please let me know in the comments. The user is getting a notification about the license expiring. And these other detail is uh, referring to the company that she works at, the CCBC. The issue is the user getting notification about the license expiring, troubleshooting, full name, confirm the full name, login email, the files, you said that some files that I can see all of them, but they're not in one place. 
Okay, expires in five days. Well, this is pretty straightforward. I think they will know. Okay, so the license expires. Okay, so simply, I'm going to say request a new license and assign it to the user. So if you don't have access to do this, then you're going to have to maybe forward the ticket to Office 365 admins so they can assign the license. Assign it to the user, right? So I'm just going to leave it at that. I've, I have videos on Office 365 where it shows you how to do this. So it's called um, uh, Office 365 licenses or something like that. I mean, I have tons of videos, but it'll show you how you can do this. So you simply, if you don't have access to it, then forward it to the people who can. There might be a process of, you know, manager approving for it. There might be a process of somebody has to pay for this, you know, this and that, but they simply need a new license. Network system down. Error not applicable. Okay. Well, all right, doesn't matter. User informs that the wired network system is down. Computer and desk phones cannot be connected to the network, hence escalating the ticket. So, I'll say you can check to make sure. Uh, well, I'm going to start from the basic. The cable is connected. Make sure that network cable is connected. So that's the basic, right? Make sure that network port is enabled. Make sure that, so this is both phone and the desk, so it's desk phone and the computer. So what happens is it's most likely a desk phone that's an IP phone. What happens is the network, uh, uh, network, um, let's say um, cat five or cat six network cable goes through the phone first from the network port and then it goes from there to the computer right so in this case uh it's completely and directly related to each so just i was going to say you know make sure that the phone is not dead but you know that could be the case too so make sure that phone is not uh broken this can cause this problem too and uh, that's pretty much it that should that should get you in the right direction i believe there really isn't that much else that can go wrong with this i've seen a phone that's dead again the cable would go through the phone too and then would pass through to the computer that's connected to it so if the phone goes down then the the, the, the computer goes down as well all right let's keep going user wanted to reinstall the printer driver user information that they have mistakenly uninstalled the printer driver from the school owned laptop oh that's unusual as there is no information regarding printer driver installation hence escalating ticket how do you install a printer driver okay so if driver was installed previously the driver dot inf file still should exist on the computer and for those reasons, you should still be able to add the printer again. Just make sure that correct printer name, name or IP address is used. Right, so if it's a network printer, if it's a US, if it's a USB printer, you should be able to disconnect the printer and connect once more. After which, Windows OS will automatically install it. Otherwise, find out which printer model it is 
and then download the correct driver. I don't know why this is in escalated in your company, but you should be able to install it. I don't, you shouldn't need admin and admin credentials to do this unless you're downloading and installing the driver. So I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. All right. By the way, thank you, Tracy, for submitting these tickets. I see you keep submitting them and I appreciate you. No longer able to send Microsoft invite the virtual link. If you like these videos, make sure you say thank you, Tracy, because she, she is constantly putting in ticket. So this is thanks to her. Uh, good morning, Microsoft Team icon is gone and Skype is now and Skype is now there. Also in Teams app, when I send meeting, there's no link to the virtual meeting. Okay, this is weird one. And it says Microsoft Teams icon is not is gone. And Skype is now, and Skype is now there. So this is not really related. But you also say that they open up Teams. All right, all right. So this is what I'm just gonna say. Make sure Teams is installed because that's the main issue here. Make sure that users password is not expired and that they have yeah i'm just going to leave it that now if it's like a, a company that uses licenses and if you wanting to access companies teams which i'm assuming that's the case i'm going to say also you might want to make sure that the user has a working office 365 license now i say this i say this but um, you don't need necessarily a paid license license why can't i play spell license is that correct i hope that's correct it doesn't matter uh yeah you don't you necessarily need like a like a, what is it some example of like e5 license for office 365 or f3 whatever there's like tons of different ones uh, a basic office 365 licenses might work in teams but within a business environment there might be some prerequisites so that's something you may or might want to check when it comes to this other part where it says also in teams app when i send a a meeting there's no link to the virtual meeting well it depends how you're doing it you know i'm going to say when creating meetings you can uh, choose to copy the meeting info and then send to participants participants or I'll say otherwise you should see a meeting created inside of your outlook calendar all right we're knocking them out real quick huh not being able to connect to the exchange server the user has been out of office it was working fine at the home this morning gets message that said you're not connected the computer number is 225 he's also getting a yellow triangle with exclamation point like outlook okay so they've been out of office this could be many things i don't know if they're working from home now or something if user is working from home make sure that they have vpn to the Company to business network connected. Otherwise, make sure their password is not expired and that they still have access to the domain. Uh, make sure their computer 
is connected to the domain. So you can check this under system setting slash name domain. All right, sorry for the people that like me to go slower, uh, but it is what it is. More email stuff, all right. I'm no longer able to view coworkers' calendar. I have tried deleting the calendar and having the coworkers reshare. This happened to me to another coworker as well. Two other coworkers can view the calendar, but Stacy, Ego, and I cannot view. Please help me. Uh, calendar, whatever. Okay, so it's a viewing calendar. All right. If if the issue is okay, so I'm going to say this. The issue may be related to calendar delegation calendar delegation and for those reasons other people may need to be re-added So uh, being able to see somebody's uh, calendar, that's, be, that's, that's when you share it. But if you are trying to like control it and actually see it and actually add things to that person's calendar, that's where this delegation comes into. So if that's that, then make sure you do that. Uh, if, if it's a group calendar, you should be able to re-add uh, them as well. I mean, this is one of those things that, like, it's it, it's usually this or that. Uh, there are no, there's really nothing else when it comes to this. It's just they're no longer able to view calendars. I've tried deleting the calendar. I have coworkers reshare. This is happening to another coworker. Two of the coworkers can view calendar, but Stacy and I cannot view it. So it's just it's a sharing or a delegation issue, really. There's really nothing else that could that it could be. I mean. I was going to say it's maybe a synchronization issue, but no, I doubt that. Email access, I'm going to skip this. I've done like five emails already. Let's do this one. Student computer, uh, student computer, blah, blah, blah. It, okay, it's not turning on. These computers are next to each other in the second, in the second row on the same side as their teacher station. Okay, well, you know, basics. So make sure that computer has power to it you know check power cables i mean if it's two of them next to each other that are not working then chances are they're both don't just simply don't have power i mean are not turning on so a lot of some well, not a lot of times but sometimes you come across well, okay, I'm not going to say that. Let's just say, I'm going to say this. Also, check power to the monitor and all other cables. This is a basics -ish, basic, basic troubleshooting issue. If, if there is no power, then it's either, well, obviously, if there's no power, it's not going to work, or it's simply dead, right? But sometimes people assume that the monitor is the computer, so they turn that off. Sometimes it's a monitor issue. You know, blah blah blah. So it's kind of like first thing, it's computer doesn't have power. The second thing is monitor is not turned on or not having power. Simple as that. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. This is just kind of a feeler. Um, I just have some time, and I wanted to like knock these out and wanted to see if people are still interested in these type of uh, videos, these help desk videos. Let me know in the comments what you think, and if you want me to keep going with these. If so, I'm going to keep doing them like this in a faster manner where I just give a quick solution and not necessarily um, showing in everything in detail. But then again, that's how I always done it. So let me know uh, in the comments what you think of this. And if you want me to continue, uh, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.